Hi there, everyone. Thought I'd, uh, at the suggestion of Pop Up the Volume, uh, a fellow YouTuber and a fellow beta tester for the Pop Mini, suggested I scan the little flower girl that I've used many times in the past to demonstrate the Pop 2, and I think I might have even done a Pop 1 scan of this little girl. One of my favorite pieces, it was a gift to my wife back in 2006, I believe, when she was ill and in the hospital. They all got together and they signed the bottom and I think I even did a scan with the Pop 2 where I actually captured the writing on the bottom, the, bit, the wishes that the, the fellow workers gave her. And she's had it as a memento all these years. Um, I thought I would just do the scan as it progresses here. I'm doing the scan real time so you can see the uh, progress of the model, what's happening, the number of frames I'm collecting. I'm collecting an, an exorbitant number of frames. I'm glad I have a really robust computer. Um, I can tell you in advance here this entire scan process, uh, everything took 20 minutes. That was the length of my video before I edited it and shortened it. You can see that my uh, depth gain is set at just one. I don't like going over one or two at the most just because it adds so much noise and I'm not I'm not really good at the editing so I'd rather capture a good scan to begin with. I spend quite a bit of time uh, getting my scan, you know, many runs so that the scan itself is as perfect as I can get it before I do anything else with it. As you see now, I'm uh, kind of evaluating what to do here. There, I decided I'd just go ahead that way, put it on its side. And you can see the mistakes here where I didn't like the scan. I went back and used that back button. It worked really nice and uh, kept at it until it finally latched on and started scanning. Or tracking, I mean, of course it's scanning. But you can see there's some holes there. I've always had trouble getting those areas on this particular figurine. And every time I scan her, I do it a little bit differently, trying to get as few frames as I can. But in this case, and I know there's a lot of overlapping going on, but I just wanted to see what the, the Mini and the Rebel Scan would do with this without going crazy. Yeah, see, I was playing around with how to, how to, what I finally ended up doing was what I've done before. I uh, supported the backside of her head and uh, pointed, pointed her face up to try to get in there where those flowers uh, and her face have, have that gap. It's, it's hard to get in there. See, I'm already at a thousand frames. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. So, you know, there's a missed track. Gave it a little chance, didn't take, so I'm back to take that off. Start her up again there, it latched on that time. And what I'm doing there is I'm, I'm, I'm moving my, that articulated arm that I have the scanner mounted on. And my arms are very stable. Even with the articulated arm, sometimes when I make a movement, uh, my shoulder will catch and uh, make a jerky motion. And I might get a mistrack at that point. Yeah, I'm thinking that's that's going to be about the limit for the number of frames that I want to have. 1,456 frames. Wait till you see how many points this thing makes. It's crazy. I hear my dogs are out there barking, probably barking at the coyotes. I heard some coyotes across the road here in the desert a little bit earlier. Maybe half a dozen out there whooping and calling to my dogs, trying to get them to come out of the yard so they could eat them. That's what they do up here. But see, I still didn't get that, that inner part there between her face and the flowers. That's a really, really hard spot to get. But, well, you know, like I said, every time I scan this little girl, I do it a little bit differently. So I must have hundreds of scans of this same figurine.
and I just want to see how it works with I hardly ever fill the holes when I mesh but in this particular case I did just to see how the software would handle it and I think it did pretty well Now, I can't wait to get the mini production version because it'll have the RGB camera and I can do this little girl again in color. <laughs> and hopefully, um, I have a Prusa XL on order, so by the end of the year, maybe I'll have a five color FDM printer and I print this little girl in color. That would be really pretty cool. I don't know if you can hear my dogs, but they probably heard those coyotes again. Yeah, and somebody earlier showed up at the gate out there and needed water because their car was overheating. And we're the only house, <laughs> we're the only house with lights uh, for a long ways. See the petals on those flowers. The indentations there that her eyes there are, are her eyes. The detail in her little shorts and her shoes. The little flower behind her ear. Yeah, when I get the RGB mini, my my pledge from Kickstarter. I'll be able to do her in color. That'll be glorious. Let's see how it filled in the flowers there. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Not too bad. I'm impressed with the fact that uh, it got her other ear there. I looked into it there. It got, see, it got her ear. Look at that. Pretty good. Well, there you have it, guys. Mini scan of the flower girl. See you on the next scan. Great scans, everyone. Bye for now.